What is up guys, my name of course is Carlo. Welcome yet to another video and the first part of many videos regarding rigging the Panasonic G7. This also um, will be for the G85 um, as well. So, I've just got my new old rig today and I've just rigged it up as you can see. Um, this is the uh, new R, I think that's how you pronounce it, new R rig. Um, and it's pretty awesome. Um, over the next uh, couple of months, we're going to be rigging this um, camera to full production. So that's ready for a full production. At the moment, what it is, is basically YouTube friendly. Um, so this is an ideal rig uh, for YouTube uh, once it's mounted, obviously, on the uh, tripod. But yes, um, I'm still waiting on my batteries for the camera because what happened was, um, as um, I don't know if most of you know from the last video uh basically um i ordered the camera i've got it brand new um it was sealed in a box but then when i opened the box there was no uh battery um inside the box so i contacted the people that i bought it from and they were very apologetic and so i said they sent me out a brand new battery which was meant to come on monday it's now wednesday the battery is still not arrived but i did contact them yesterday and said to them look what's going on with a battery um, and they have um, looked at up and said I should have received the battery by now don't know what's going on with it but um, it should be with me today um, and they've obviously given me a secondary battery as well as a gesture of goodwill so hopefully I can get to use the camera today because it is getting really jarring having to film on my mobile phone so yes this is it this is a quick update for you guys this is the new R rig it is rock solid um, I was a bit worried because when I actually ordered this, I got this brand new off eBay. Um, it's the, literally in the description, it basically stated it was for the Sony cameras. So the Sony A7S, A7S Mark II, so on and so on. Um, but with my surprise, the actual G7 fits in it absolutely spot on. Even with the cable grips here, I can easily open the door um, on the side here. As you can see there, thread my cables through my HDMI and my bits and pieces um, and we're good to go and I can just basically tighten them up with these, these little screws here. And the same, the microphone's got plenty of breathing space there, uh, which is fantastic. The only downside to it is the battery and where the, um, where the ST card goes because when I go to open it, I can only open, I can only open it a little bit. Now there is a plus side to this. I am getting a super fast 512 gigabyte uh, storage drive, which is great. And this is gonna be running on an external power source. So it's gonna be running on Sony batteries. Um, that setup will come during the week. So once uh, the products have arrived to the channel, um, then I can put that in and we're good to go. So that in theory is not a problem. Um, with the bottom because once the 512 gigabytes in that is more than enough storage to shoot hours upon hours worth of 4k video plus the battery is like literally you know, dummy battery goes into the bottom a little um, cable comes out um, of the side which is uh, just looking at, at the bottom uh, side just there there's like a little breathing space gap there so the cable will come out of that, it will plug into an external mount, which will be mounted to the rig, and then I can use my Sony P mount batteries on this rig, which should give me um, hours upon hours worth of shooting. So not being able to access the bottom, you know, during a shoot is not a problem because I'm not gonna need to, uh, which is great. But all that stuff, all that goodness will be coming in the next few days for you guys, so you can see how it's done. Um, and yeah, we will be getting this to professional standard and ready for a feature film shoot. A lot of people have said to me, Carlo, you're shooting on a G7, it's got amazing quality. There's no reason why you can shoot an awesome feature film on this. And that's exactly what I'm doing with this. On top of that, it is so light. It's a million times lighter than a Blackmagic, even though I do like my Blackmagic camera. This I'm just holding with one hand. Whereas a Blackmagic, if it, if it was on a rig, I dropped some clips here of the of the rig I had what well, I've still got for the Black Magic. Um, it, it weighs a ton. But with this, this is ideal for steady shooting, run and gun, so on and so on. 
So, yeah, there it is. That's the new R-Rig. It's going to be modified, completely different to the way it's looking at the moment, obviously. At this precise moment in time, it is literally just a YouTube shooter. Put on a tripod, um, set it up, press record. You're ready with the mic, your audio, all ready to go. And it's ready to shoot crisp, clean, 4K YouTube videos as it sits. But I want to get it to a film standard, so a professional standard. So it's got some awesome, it's got some hot shoe mounts here. One there, one on the top of the rig there. So this is ideal to put a field monitor or my wireless, because um, this has got Wi-Fi. So I'll be putting an iPad on an arm, which will be wireless, and that will be my field monitor. And I've also got a, a Lilliput monitor, which is going to be going on this as well. Now I do know you cannot record in out of the Lilliput monitor because once you press record. The, the LCD stays on, but then the film monitor goes off. But it will be ideal for framing. So to getting things in shot, getting things ready. I know I am. Press record. Job done. So there it is, guys. There is part one of rigging the Panasonic G87 and basically get it ready for a professional film shoot. I can't wait to start using this camera. I've just got to wait for the batteries to turn up, which is a pain in the neck. But... Once the battery turns up, then we can take this bad boy on location out there somewhere. Get some really cool shots with it um, and just see what we can do with it. And basically build it up and get it ready for uh, shooting a full feature film with it. Which I know this thing is going to absolutely smash it. So as always guys, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button guys. It really means the world to me. It means a hell of a lot. If you have enjoyed this video, obviously you know what to do also means the world to me and as always i'll definitely catch you guys in part two of rigging up the panasonic g87 g7 shall i say and get it ready for a professional feature film shoot you can do it you just got to get it ready for it ciao ciao